Hello students. Today, I would like to discuss about the section formula and its application. Let the point, say P, X comma Y, divide the joint of the line segment A, whose coordinates are X1, Y1, and B, whose coordinates are X2, Y2, internally in the ratio of M is to N. So then by section formula, we have X is equal to M X2 plus M X1 divided by M plus N and Y is equal to M Y2 plus M Y1 divided by M plus N. Let's go to your textbook page 223 exercise 7b question number one which says find the coordinates of the point find the coordinates of the point which divides the joint of a minus 1 comma 7 and b 4 comma minus 3 in the ratio of 2 is to 3 the solution we write, let the point P, X, comma, Y, divide the joint of A, minus 1, comma, 7, and B, 4, comma, minus 3, in the ratio of 2 is to 3. Because here we have to find the coordinates of the point that divides the joint of A and B. So therefore, we have assumed that that point is P, X, comma, Y. So here, your x1 here is minus 1, so we write here minus 1. Your y1 is 7, so we write here 7. Your x2 is 4, so we write here 4. Your y2 is minus 3, so we write here minus 3. Your m here is 2, so we write here 2. And your n here is 3, so we write here 3. So by section formula, we have x equal to mx2 plus mx1 divided by m plus n and y equal to my2 plus ny1 divided by m plus n. The next line we have x equal to substituting all the values for m. Since m is 2, we write here 2. Your x2 is 4, so we write here 4. Plus your n is 3, so we write here 3. And your x1 is minus 1, so we write here minus 1. Divided by, since your m is 2, again here we write 2 plus since your n is 3, so we write here 3. y equal to, since your m is 2, again here we write 2. y2 is minus 3, so we write here minus 3. Plus your n is 3, so we write here 3. And your y1 is 7, so we write here 7. Divided by m plus n. Since your m is 2, so we write here 2. Plus your n is 3, so we write here 3. In the next line, we have x equal to since 2 into 4 is 8, so we write here 8. Now here, minus, plus and minus is minus. So we write here minus. And 3 into 1 is 3. Again, below you have 2 plus 3 is 5, so we write here 5. And here, y is equal to 2 into minus 3 is minus 6. Plus 3 into 7 is 21, so we write here 21. Divided by 2 plus 3 is 5. So we write here 5. Next line we have x is equal to. Now 8 minus 3 is 5. So we get here 5. Below again we have 5. And 5 times 1 is 5. So we get here x equal to 1. And here y is equal to. Now minus and plus is minus. So 21 minus 6 is 15 and since plus is greater so we have here 15 below you have 5 and 5 times 3 is 15 so we have here y equal to 3 hence the coordinates of the required point that is is equal to 1 comma 3 since your x is 1 so we write here 1 since y is 3 we write here 3 let us go to the next question that is question number 6 which says Find the ratio in which the point P minus 6, comma A 
divides the joint of A minus 3 comma minus 1 and B minus 8 comma 9. Also, find the value of A. So your solution is, we write, let the point P minus 6 comma A divides the joint of A minus 3 comma minus 1 and B minus 8 comma 9 in the ratio. Now here in this question, we have to find the ratio. The ratio is not given, but we have to find the ratio. So therefore, we assume that the ratio is K is to 1. Now here, your x here is given to be minus 6, so we write here minus 6. Your y here is a, so we write here a. Again, your x1 is minus 3 here, so we write minus 3. Your y1 is minus 1, so we write here minus 1. Your x2 here is minus 8, so we write here minus 8. Your y2 is 9, so we write here 9. Your m here is k, so we write here k. And your n is 1, so we write here 1. So by section formula, we have x equal to mx2 plus mx1 divided by m plus n. And your y is equal to my2 plus ny1 divided by m plus n. Now, putting the value of x here, since your x is minus 6, so we have here minus 6 equal to, since your m is k, so we write here k into your x2 is minus 8, so we have here minus 8, plus, since your n is 1, so we write here 1, and your x1 is minus 3, so we write here minus 3, divided by, since your m here is k, so we write here k, and your n here is 1, so we write here 1, we have k plus 1. And, again, since your y is a, so we write here a is equal to, your m is k, so we write here k, and your y2 is 9, so we write here 9. Plus, since your n is 1, we write here 1, and your y1 is minus 1, so we put here minus 1. Divided by, since your m is k, so we write here k, plus, since your n is 1, we write here 1. In the next line, we cross multiply this, minus 6k and k plus 1, we have minus 6 into k, we have minus 6k, again, Minus into plus is minus, so we write here minus, and 6 into 1 is 6, so we have here minus 6k minus 6. This is equal to, again here, k into minus 8, we have minus 8k. And here, plus into minus is minus, so we write here minus, and 1 into 3 is 3. And here, a is equal to, again, k into 9 is 9k, and here, plus into minus is minus, so we write here minus, and 1 into 1 is 1, so we write here 1. Below you have k plus 1. Now the question asks us to find the value of a. So therefore, this equation, we name it as equation number 1. Now from here, minus 6k, now this minus 8k, if you bring it to the left hand side, since it is minus, it becomes plus 8k. This is equal to here minus 3. Minus 3 is already there. Now this minus 6, we bring it to the right hand side, it becomes plus 6. Now from here, if you combine these two terms, this is minus and plus is minus. So 8k minus 6k, we have 2k. Since plus is greater, so we have plus 2k it is equal to. Again here, minus and plus is minus, and six minus three is three. So we write here three, since plus is greater, so it is plus three. Therefore, k it is equal to three by two. Hence, the required ratio is three is to two. Let us, now again, according to the question, since we have to find the value of a. So we put the value of k in equation one. As we've seen, your equation one is a equal to 9k minus 1 by k plus 1. So this value of k, we will substitute it here in equation one. We have a is equal to 9, since k is 3 by 2, so we write here 3 by 2 minus 1. Whole thing divided by k, since your k is 3 by 2, so we write here k by 2 plus 1. 
next line you have a is equal to now here 9 into 3 is 27 below we have 2 so we have here 27 by 2 minus 1 again here we have 2 into 1 is 2 plus 3 is 5 so we have here 5 by 2 in the next line we have a is equal to now here again 2 into 1 is 2 here we have minus so 27 minus 2 is 25 so we write 25 below we have 2 whole thing again here 5 by 2 so we have here 5 by 2 a is equal to 25 by 2 you have to divide by 5 by 2 you have to divide by 5 by 2 but when you change it into multiplication the numerator becomes the denominator or the denominator becomes the numerator that means it becomes reciprocal so def therefore we write here 25 by 2 into 2 by 5 now 2 and 2 is cancelled 5 times 5 is 25 so we have here a is equal to 5 let us go to question number 8 which says in what ratio so here we have to find the ratio in what ratio the line segment joining the points a minus 2 comma minus 3 and b 3 comma 7 is divided by the y axis also we have to find the coordinates of the point of division now our solution is we write let the point because in this question it says the Line segment AB is divided by Y axis. As we know that Y axis, the coordinates are 0, comma Y. So therefore, we name this point P as 0, comma Y. Divide the joint of A minus 2, comma minus 3, and B 3, comma 7 in the ratio. Since here we have to find the ratio, so we assume that the ratio is K is to 1. Here, your x here is 0 and your y is y itself. Your x1 is minus 2, so we write here minus 2. Your y1 is minus 3, so we write here minus 3. Your x2 is 3, so we write here 3. Your y2 is 7, so we write here 7. Your m here is k, so we write here k. Your n here is 1, so we write here 1. So by section formula, we have x is equal to mx2 plus nx1 whole thing divided by m plus n and y equal to my2 plus ny1 divided by m plus n. Now, substituting the values here, the next line we have, since x is 0, we write here 0 is equal to, since your m is k, so we write here k, since your x2 is 3, we write here 3, plus, since your n is 1, we write here 1, since your x1 is minus 2, so we write here minus 2, divided by, since m is k, so we write here k, plus since your n is 1, we write here 1. Again here, y is equal to, since your m is k, so we write here k, into, since your y2 is 7, so we write here 7, plus, since your n is 1, we write here 1, and y1 is minus 3, so we write here minus 3, divided by, since your m is k, we write here k, plus, since your n is 1, we write here 1. In the next line, we cross multiply this. We have 0 into k is 0. Again, 0 into 1 is 0. So whole thing is 0. So therefore, 0 into k plus 1, we have here 0. It is equal to here, k into 3 is 3k. Again, plus and minus is minus. 1 into 2 is 2. So we get here 3k minus 2. And here, x is equal to, now k into 7 is 7k. And here, minus and plus is minus. 1 into 3 is 3. So we get here 7k minus 3. Again, below we have k plus 1. Now, this equation, we name it as equation 1. Because as per the question, we also have to find the coordinates of the point. Now, from here, now this plus 3k, if you take it to the left-hand side, it comes minus 3k. It is equal to minus 2. Now minus and minus is cancelled, so therefore we have k is equal to 2 by 3. Hence the required ratio is 2 by 3. Now again, we have to also find the coordinates. So this value of k here 
we will substitute in equation number one here. Now, what do we have? Now, if again, after putting the value of k in equation one, we have y equal to seven. Since your k is two by three, so we write here two by three minus three divided by, since your k is two by three, so again, we write here two by three plus one. Now, y equal to, now here, seven into two is 14, below you have three, so we write here 14 by three minus three. Again, here, three into one is three, plus two is five by three, so we write here five by three. Therefore, we have y equal to five by three divided by five by three. Then next line, we have y equal to five by three, since we have to divide by five by three, but we change it to multiply, the numerator becomes the denominator, and the denominator becomes the numerator. That is, we write here as three by five. Now three and three cancel, we have one. Again, five and five, we cancel, we have one. So therefore, we have y equal to one. Hence, the required coordinates of the y-axis is zero comma y. Now, I hope students, you have understood the problems that we have done. So I would like you to turn your textbook, to turn to your textbook of page 223 and you do yourself assessment into question number six, two, question number seven, 10 and 11. So thank you. We will continue in our next class.